These are the Sunday recommendations for my free email list for February the 6th, 2022. This week's blog post is the eighth in my series on the history of outdoor sculpture in New York City, and it is devoted to John Quincy Adams Ward, who was known during his lifetime as the Dean of American Sculptors. And he did some very nice works. Second recommendation, N.C. Wyeth, Winter, 1909. 30 years ago or so, I saw this work on exhibition at the Brandywine Museum in Chad's Ford, Pennsylvania. Since I didn't remember the title, it has taken me this long to find it again. The subject doesn't especially grab me, but that composition is amazing. It is circular but not symmetrical, and the way the cloak and the bird complete the sun's circle is just really satisfying right around here. I love many of N.C. Wyeth's works and was pleased to discover that the Brandywine now has an online catalogued raisonné of them, which I've given you the link to. Third recommendation, Fritz Thaulow, Skiers at the Top of a Snow-Covered Hill from 1894. I'm giving you this because I'll be skiing when you receive this week's recommendations. Thaulow, 1847 to 1906, a Norwegian was the brother-in-law of Paul Gauguin, the cousin of Edvard Munch, and a friend of Claude Monet. This painting is at the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. The fourth recommendation this week is a work by Louis Sullivan, which I think is one of his lesser-known works. I didn't know of it before. DianeDranteWriter.com has hundreds of posts on sculpture, painting, architecture, and my other obsessions. To join the free Sunday Recommendations email list, visit the URL that's on the screen or email me. And you can say, well done, Diane, or support my work and receive rewards by means of the tip jar on dianedurantywriter.com. As always, thank you for listening.